Hi, I'm very happy to be with you to share something about, let's say, the new uh, star in the world of pet species, the rabbits. Rabbits uh, are very shy, very emotional creatures, and uh, of course, uh, Ircea and uh, in cooperation then with science again, uh, have been very happy to try to improve the quality of life of our bunnies and to make that uh, the common life and the interaction between uh, rabbits, pet rabbits and human uh, can lead to a happy life. So it's interesting to understand this kind of strategy to maybe remind some very important uh, data about rabbits. Rabbits, uh, the rabbit Erectolagus cuniculus, uh, that is now one of the three most popular pets in many countries, and it's a growing phenomenon, uh, is also one of the most recently domesticated species among mammals. The real domestication uh, appears to happen during the 8th century, uh, uh, with uh, it, it has been organized by French monks, before that, there were some, uh, the Romans in the antiquity were having some uh, yards uh, with fences where they were, they were keeping rabbits and hares, but if they were not domesticated and people were obliged to hunt them to try to have access to the rabbits. So it was not domesticated rabbits. And it's just in the Middle Age, in the 8th century, that we began to have domestic rabbits. But the morphology of the rabbits have really uh, been modified during the 18th century when pet rabbits began to exist. And uh, it's something which is very surprising if we compare it with dogs and cats. Another important point that we have to keep in mind is that uh, the social, sexual and maternal behavior of uh, rabbits uh, and our domestic rabbits is very comparable to the, 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 the equivalent in wild rabbits. And, uh, but on the contrary to wild rabbits, domesticated rabbits appear to be less emotional and have a higher capability to cope with novelty and presence of other species. Uh, Charles Darwin was, uh, has written that no animal is more difficult to tame than the young rabbit of the wild rabbit, then scarcely any animal is tamer than the young of the tame rabbit. So it's really clear that this is uh, a very special characteristic of our domestic rabbits, which is that they have gained this capability to cope their, uh, to cope some characteristic, to cope with the human environment. Recent studies using MRI to compare the brain of wild and tame rabbits uh, have proven that there is a reduction uh, of the amygdala and in compensation a more developed prefrontal cortex and especially for the medial prefrontal cortex. And so it's interesting because in, in addition to that there is a decrease in the corpus callosum, in the corona radiata and in uh, the subcortical areas which is explaining a better balance of emotion in tame rabbits. If we look at those views of uh, uh, the brains of rabbits and the modification during evolution, we can see this dramatic uh, reduction in the amygdala and on the contrary, development of the prefrontal cortex, meaning that uh, again, it's very much in correlation with what I've, I described previously about those domestic rabbits to be more capable to cope with novelty and contact with uh, other species, we have these prefrontal uh, areas that will balance uh, the, the reactions of the amygdala, which is much more the part of the brain where emergency reactions will take place. There is another very interesting point with rabbits, which is the rabbit maternal behavior. Uh, we know that the pregnancy more or less is around 31 days. The parturition is very, very quick, 10 to 15 minutes for the whole litter. 
uh, females produce a special burrow uh, with dry grass and abdominal fur. And something which is interesting th is that uh, many, let's say, naive or traditional observation tend to show that uh, primiparous females tend to, uh, to produce less fur and put less fur or have less organized nests uh, for their first litter. Uh, in wild rabbits, the mother uh, will leave the burrow and close it for 24 hours and will just come once a day to give milk without giving any help to the pups compared to cats, dogs, for example, uh, where the mother will be much more helping, pushing, touching her litter. And it's uh, this uh, circling unique circling session is very short, three to four minutes a day. And with the exception of the burrow, which is usually a box provided by humans for domestic rabbits, there is no modification in domestic rabbits compared to uh, wild rabbits. So it's very interesting because uh, you know that the pups are initially blind, the eyes are not open, and so the rabbits, the pups, must find very quickly the access to the nipple, uh, to find the mother and find the nipple. So one question, one very uh, logical question is to say, is the doe the worst mother among mammals? But we have to keep in mind that rabbits are very vulnerable prey. We can say that almost every kind of uh, medium or large size predator will be pos potential predators to rabbits. And during circling in the wild, the burrow is open, making that it is visible and make that the litter is exposed to be detected by some predators. So rare nursing and short circling means protection. So it's a big challenge. And the, uh, it's very important to say that rabbits during evolution have developed some strategies. And bunnies are very good uh, with having a very sophisticated and well-developed chemical communication. Here on this slide, we can see uh, uh, a chick marking behavior, which is especially very important in males. So rabbits, as the other lagomorphs, have very a uh, uh, large range of odorous glands. They have anal glands uh, that are brown in color and uh, uh, malodorous, especially to men, uh, sensitive to neutering, uh, meaning that neutered males have less odorant and less abundant anal secretions. Those secretions seem to, be a play, to play a role in, uh, as alarm and sexual pheromones. They have ardorian glands, two lobes, uh, a red and a white, but the function of this secretion is not very well known. You have the chin glands that are very interesting, and especially from a clinical point of view, because uh, they are more developed and more visible on the fur with the brownish uh, secretion uh, in uh, dominant uh, individuals compared to submissive ones. Uh, and it's uh, uh, very clearly important in territorial marking. Ingun inguinal glands for sexual communication, same thing with urine secretions. The nipple glands with the nipple pheromone that will guide the pups to the nipple. And also the same pheromone is also present, uh, not produced by uh, the nipple glands, but is also present in the secotrops, uh, those special feces that uh, uh, the pups will have to ingest. And this secretion will play a role in facilitating the injection, the ingestion of the secotrophs. And the intermammary glands that are responsible for the production of maternal appeasing pheromone. So if we go back to this question, is the do the worst mother among mammals? We can say that uh, for the pups, it's very important to be uh, in a warm place, even when there is no mother and being close side by side, increase the temperature. And especially because they are necked initially, there is no fur on, on the pups. Uh, it's important to be not noisy, to be not detectable by predators, and finding the nipple in a very short time. So in fact, there are two major pheromones that will play a role in this mechanism. 
one is uh, involved in staying quite together in the nest. And this is the rabbit appeasing pheromone, RAP, that we have described uh, years ago. And the nipple pheromone described by Shal and uh, his colleagues, which is a 2-methyl-butyl-2-NL, 2M, 2B, uh, which is guiding uh, uh, the pups to the nipple. So now we can ask a question, what is secure bunny? What is it and how does it work? Secure bunny is having the active compound of secure bunny is the analog of the rabbit appeasing pheromone. It is what is very original is that we have developed a passive and safe system uh, using an hydrophilic gel to release the pheromone, meaning that there is no electricity and there is no warming system. And the pheromone is released thanks to the dehydration of uh, the matrix. When the matrix is at its smallest volume, and it's usually requiring four weeks, there is still a release of pheromone for seven to 10 days. And the, remain the, the interesting point in the world where we live nowadays is that the remaining matrix is recyclable as well as the box, which is another concern. If we look at those, at this slide, where we have electronic microscopic views of uh, the blocks, uh, we, s we can see that uh, uh, after uh, five days of uh, diffusion, we, we just begin to see some uh, micro holes in, uh, on the surface of the block, and it will increase over time. Uh, all this evolution making being in association with the release of the pheromone that we have controlled thanks to uh, chemical analysis in the air. How is it, how are we going to use uh, Secure Bunny? It's very easy, you just have to open the box. You place it close to your, your uh, rabbit crate especially and you keep it continuously open because uh, the rabbit must find the pheromone when needed. And there is no antagonism between having secure bunny and another diffuser of another pheromone product for any other species. This uh, pheromone is also, has been also validated as all uh, the, the semiochemicals that have been identified by RCA uh, with uh, different studies. And the initial uh, evaluation was made with, uh, uh, has been made with 12 females and 12, 12 liters, 113 pups, uh, with video registration and analysis of the reactions of the pups when we were removing the fur from the nest. And when what we have observed is that when there is no nest, the pups tend to disperse all around. And when there is, uh, uh, when we restore it with the fur or with the pheromone, immediately the pups tend to be to stay all together uh, and there is no difference between uh, uh, having an artificial nest with uh, RAP and the normal nest. We have also shown that the pheromone is capable to control stress-related reaction, especially uh, during uh, uh, with uh, uh, rabbits being exposed to some a sudden noise or uh, to uh, uh, strong light. And uh, the rabbits, we have shown it, especially with measuring plasmatic cortisol and also the ratio of neutrophils to lymphocytes, which is stabilized with a significant difference regarding cortisol and uh, a tendency regarding uh, neutrophil to lymphocytes. Some other uh, studies have been made, especially regarding arrival in a new uh, environment and the rabbits arriving in a new environment as you can see on the video in a very standardized setting with uh, everything being measurable thanks to video. Uh, in this new environment it was not just new but there were some novel objects, some novel unknown people and we have for example measured the time, uh, the, the quality of the feed intake. We all know that rabbits tend to uh, have an inhibition of feeding behavior when arriving in new place, which is very dangerous, taking in account their uh, digestive physiology. And the time before going out of crate, because the, p the, the rabbit was free to stay into the crate uh, or to go and explore the place. 
And we can see that regarding the Philip take, there is uh, uh, a, a trained uh, effect of uh, the treatment with the rabbits having a higher feed intake when they are treated. And the rabbit regarding the time to go and explore the new environment, uh, the probability for the treated rabbits to go to enter spontaneously into the arena is 23.3% higher when the rabbits are treated with secure bunny. Some other interesting indications for the vets is also related to surgery. Uh, anesthesia and surgery in rabbits may be uh, very uh, stressful for the rabbit and sometimes for uh, the vets. Here we have measured, for example, we have the example of two indicators, the temperature during anesthesia. Uh, in this case, it was rabbits uh, that uh, we have worked with the lab where they were doing some biopsies on the rabbits and the rabbits were exposed to uh, a secure bunny and with uh, uh, the treated rabbits have a more stable body temperature during anesthesia compared to the others. And same thing for recovering after anesthesia. Uh, the rabbits after being uh, that were exposed to secure bunny were having a higher level of activity after recovering from anesthesia. So if we summarize uh, from uh, rabbit owner's point of view, what are the interesting indications? It's mostly prevention and it's adaptation to new home and family when you adopt the rabbit. Moving to new home, uh, like cats, rabbits don't like very much uh, changing and moving to a new, a new place. Introduction of new people or animals at home. Going to vacations, rabbits don't especially like going for vacation uh, and the worst for them is the transport and uh, it's very easy to open uh, to have the block uh, close to the crate of the rabbit during the transport and all the users uh, describe very very quiet transport. Regarding vets we, we will enjoy to use the product in the waiting room in the, and especially because most of the time, of course, we don't have a special waiting room for rabbits, so there are other animals and people. Examination room, preparation to anesthesia and post-anesthesia, as we have seen in the study. Hospitalization, also, where the rabbits are uh, more uh, comfortable and easier to manage. And regarding behavior problems, uh, aggressive behaviors, and especially everything which is uh, related to territorial aggression, uh, very easy to, to, do, to identify, especially with the foot tapping behavior. Anxiety with inhibition, the hidden rabbits. Multiple houses with conflict between rabbits and others, could be rabbits or any other species. And anxious rabbits with repeated episodes of digestive disorders. So in conclusion, it's a very successful uh, uh, strategy to manage and help these species uh, which is more and more appreciated by people but with people who usually have not very good knowledge about uh, rabbits and could create some stressful situation. Uh, there is a proven effective uh, action regarding the management of uh, uh, medical situations. Uh, the new releasing system that we propose is very safe and very comfortable and very easy to use because you don't have to plug, making that your diffuser will can be used in your car, for example. And uh, we can say that uh, comparing with cats, we can predict that the access to pheromonotherapy is also something that will help people in developing their tendency to enjoy to have rabbits as pets. I thank you for your attention.